Our next guest has an enviable job title. He's a professional fun seeker. Yes, a professional fun seeker. That means he travels the globe looking for laughs, adventure, and excitement. I want his job. Can we sign up for that yes, somewhere? Yes, I want this job. He's here to talk to us about his travel flip on the Travel Channel, mm. which has its third season premiere on Wednesday. Is comedian, author, and television personality <laughs> Bert Kreischer. That's the first time I've ever been introduced as an author. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Bert, your job sounds like a dream job. How does one end up a, a professional fun seeker? And how, I mean, how do we get this gig? Well, it starts by spending seven years in college. Okay, seven years. Yeah, in seven college? years in college, oh, and then right. having Rolling Stone discover you as the number one party animal in the country. Then start stand up, and then luck your way. You got to fight a bear somewhere in there. Oh. And then Travel I'm Channel out. will see that video, <laughs> and, then, and then ultimately you become the guy that gets to jump off the stratosphere for the first time. Okay, rewind. Yes. <laughs> yes. You spent seven years in I college. I spent seven years in college. Okay, so you weren't anxious to graduate. Oh, <laughs> Clearly not. No, I wasn't much of a student. Okay. Now, yeah. Rolling Stone discovers you. <laughs> when I read books uh -huh. still to this day, my brain is like the kind of brain where like I read, I read Memoirs of Geisha, and it was like, I was born on the windy cliffs of Okinawa. And that voice in my head is like, I wonder if she knows Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> like, I don't have that kind of, like, I am, this interview will go all over. I'm still obsessed with the RZA. Are you kidding me? I know. My kids, when they get naked, they call themselves the Bhutan Clan. <laughs> oh. I just told them that. It was such a great moment. This has been a blast. <laughs> so, uh, and it's just getting started. We haven't even begun. I uh, know. Don't do a side shot. You can see my gut. Oh, the, God. Uh, you're uh, going all over the place. So, yes. Okay, let's circle back. Rolling Stone Magazine says you're the wildest number one, party, number animal one party animal in the country. Yep. How do you earn a distinction like that? Because there are a lot of partiers in the country. <laughs> Uh, I, I have no idea. Okay. I cannot, I don't know but how But I bet it you were good at it. I am still really good at really it. Really good at, at it. 40, no, oh, not at, you. At 41, I even party with a blood pressure monitor these days just to make sure it's <laughs> fair. The, uh, <laughs> I took my blood pressure this morning, 118 over 70. That's how, Ooh, yeah, nice. tell me about there it. Go. Right. I want to see my kids graduate college. Oh. So. Uh, Quicker than you, hopefully. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that costs, you know. <laughs> so anyway, what happened is I kind of lucked into this job of like, I was a comedian. I, I still am a comedian, and I was a guy that would do anything. Okay. I was, I, like I said, I had a show called Hurtbert where I fought a bear. I was an MMA fighter. I was a wildlife photographer for Great White Sharks Out of the Cage, and then I kind of would have. I don't mean to stop you again, shoot. but you fought a bear. I what does that bear. mean? Yes. Like, is there, a, is it a like a grizzly bear? It's a stage bear. A like, stage. I don't even know who won. Uh, the bear. <laughs> Ouch. The bear. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. It's. It's a long story. It has nothing to do with my show. Okay. And right now, my publicist is going. Well, Go let's talk flip. about the show. The show <laughs> is called Travel Flip. Okay. Trip flip. Trip flip. Trip oh, flip. Yeah. yeah. Aha. Okay. Trip flip. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it has an interesting premise. Yes, you it's take... almost like Pimp My Vacation. Yeah. Oh, it is such a great show. What I do is I go out in the street and I find people literally walking in the street. I went up to Columbus Circle and found two people to take to California. <laughs> and, and you just stand there with a camera crew and I'm like, Hey, you good? Are you adventurous? and no one says yes. Everyone walks right past, and then ultimately, if I'm lucky, I find one couple, and then bam, I, I pay them, I fly You're them, I, I plan everything, but it's, it's hardcore adventure. I mean, we're talking about rope swings with a 270-foot free fall. You we're talking about tandem base jumping, skajoring, swimming with sharks, like it is, it is getting you out of your comfort zone. And, and I have, I had a show before this called Bert the Conqueror on Travel Channel where I did just that. I did extreme rides, I did extreme events, I did a human slingshot, I was the first person to jump off the stratosphere. So it is getting people out of their comfort zone and we have stepped up adventure. We've got, we've got the world's longest uh, zip line at like all, wow. over 90 miles an hour. <gasps> Look we, at that. Yeah, that's in Costa Rica. Ow. And we literally did it, Pura Vida. We got a backpack, we got a handful of cash and we hitched and drove our way around Costa Rica. Okay, Let's take a look at a clip and then discuss Do. more. Definitely. Are you adventurous? Yeah. Here's the, the big question. Can you give me like five days of your life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Join me. This isn't a vacation, this is an adventure. Let's get it Yo, yo, yo. I did it! For these awesome, we are swimming with sharks. <laughs> I'm not touching the brakes. I'm not touching the brakes. <laughs> Unforgettable moment. You gotta see Kawhi one way. Oh my god! That's so cool. This is not your average vacation. <laughs> oh my god. 
Hashtag so cool. Hashtag YOLO. That was tandem base jumping. That's only one place you can do it. It's on the Pernine Bridge in, uh, in Sioux Falls in Idaho. And that'll step. That is like, that is a game changer. Wow. I did, did swimming with sharks. I just did that with my kids the other day. If my phone's on, I'll show you. I took them down to Hawaii. My kids have seen the show. And they're like, Dad, I want to go swimming with sharks. I was like, girls, we're getting, my kids are seven and nine. I was like, we're getting in a cage with like 20 sharks circling us. And literally, my, my youngest, Isla's holding her nose, like going underwater, looking at sharks, and then popping up just like, oh. oh. Everything we do on the show is totally safe, totally vetted but hardcore adventure. Are you insane or do you just have no fear? <laughs> I have tons of fear. I think that's what makes a show a tad bit accessible is that, is that I am just a regular guy. I really am. I'm, I'm a lot of fun and I like to have a good time. And I will do just about anything just because I feel like jumping out of a plane. Like mm -hmm. I've done it twice. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> okay. It's, well, first of all, you gotta sit in a dude's lap. Like, it's very emasculating to jump out of a plane in a guy's lap like you're in a baby Bjorn. And, and crying like yeah, a baby, and, yeah. And shaking, and he's rubbing your shoulders. And then when you go... When Sounds the first, like my weekend. The first time I went was with Rachel. <laughs> I just got that! <laughs> I digress, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> come well, back. if there's anything come in the back, spa, Bert. Lola Wait, and I would back, like Bert. to do I got that. the visual in my head. Oh, And in my visual, you're all dressed in white. It's such a great visual. <laughs> well, Lola and I want to do something in a spa with an all-you-can-eat buffet. If that trip comes up, call us. Hey, we, well, there's no spa trips on our show anymore. <laughs> no, but what I was saying is jumping out of a plane is very, like, it's very, it's, 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 it's one of those things that you've always seen and you're like, oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. And Rachel Ray was the first one to get me to do it. Okay. And she told me, she goes, don't watch me go out of the door because you'll lose your mind. Yeah. And sure enough, her and her dude get up to like 13,000 feet. They post up. And I see her do her read one take. I'm Rachel Ray. Yummo. Or whatever. And then they get sucked out of the plane. And I have white hot panic run through my body. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh. I grab the cameraman who is not wearing a parachute. Okay. Oh, We're at 13,000 feet. There's an open door. And he's like, get off me, man. Punching me. Sound guy's hitting me with a boom. My guy just baby bjorns me over to the door. I post up and I'm like I'm not going and he's like we're going now I was like no you're going by yourself and then he goes oh my god what's wrong with your straps I'm like what oh. we go screaming out of the door at a hundred miles an hour and he's like do you want to catch up with Rachel I was like she's dead to me but, <laughs> but the the, but jump me out of a plane and you saw us do that, it's like, I do believe I'm a regular guy, but I want people to have that experience. I want them to go tandem base jumping. I want them to go swimming with sharks. I want to, we drove motorcycles to Sturgis. I'd never ridden a motorcycle in my entire life. Took the lessons, got a motorcycle, started in Montana, Billings, Montana, all the way to Sturgis. And, and, and that's what the show's about, is really bringing adventure and these experiences to people that wouldn't normally do them. And hopefully changing the way they, they travel. I mean, every single one of them, I sent a mass email out to all the people I travel with. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, hey, I want to have you on my podcast. I want to, I want to live tweet about the show. And like three of them were in different places all over the world. They're like, we're in Italy right now. We're about to go canyoning. And it's like changing the way people travel. Cause like I said, so often you go and you sit at a pool and you just have a cocktail. <laughs> Wait, so how do you how do you relax? What are your real life vacations like when honestly, you're not on the show? Honestly, I, like I said, I just took. I'm showing you a picture of my daughters. Yeah. I just took a trip to. Here you go. Look at this. Me and my girls in a shark cage. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that looks real relaxing. But that so you looks never very just, you relaxing. You never just want to lie on the beach and like <laughs> sip a daiquiri and read a read you know a book. What, you know what's so funny is I just got back from Hawaii. I uh -huh. didn't drink at all. Okay. I ended up taking long walks with my girls. Like we were looking for seals because the seals come to the tide pools to okay. play. And and we went swimming with sharks. We went surfing. We went paddle boarding. It's kind of changed the way I vacation a little bit too. Because hey, trust me, number one party animal in the country. I definitely would spend my days drinking daiquiris until I got dizzy. Yeah. You you okay, really can't take your little daughters drinking, can you? No, you can. <laughs> you can. I've done it. <laughs> it's oh, okay. Child protection. Was that, was that not supposed to say that? The way. <laughs> okay, so there's a book based on your life. You've written Life of the Party. Life of the Party. It's, all, right, it's all my crazy. And that was turned into a film. No, 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 no. Uh, That's I, going I just, to be turned into a film. Oh, hopefully. The, right. uh, no, I just wrote a book called Life of the Party. It's, uh, it's all my crazy stories. Um, I bet you they are real crazy. I have some pretty wild ones. When uh -huh. I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia and robbed a train. Um, what? 
it's a very long story. But uh, make it short. What? Uh, I, I got <laughs> involved with the Russian mafia and we robbed a train. It's I know as outrageous as it sounds. With what? Uh, just our wits. Your wits. Really? No guns. Yeah. No weapons. Wits and some vodka and so a few cigarettes. The vodka will do it. Yeah. And so okay. so I wrote a book and it's got all those crazy stories. It's the first time I met Will Smith. It's uh, it's that. It's it's. What did Will Smith make of you? What did the Fresh Prince of Bel Air make of you? He was he was absolutely fantastic. Uh, he was he taught me how to sell a TV show. But our first time meeting was kind of like, like it was weird because he's like, hey, you want to go to the movies? And I was like, what? And he's like, you want to go to the movies? And I was like, what's that mean? And my dad my dad said, oh buddy, it means he's gay. <laughs> my dad's like, you, you got when you go there, I'm just letting you know that he may be sometimes in Hollywood, they're closeted homosexual. Oh, and I was like, no. I was like, in my head, I'm like, that's impossible. It's Will Smith. But then I show up and there's nine dudes in a room with a folding table in the middle. I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be a long night. But, <laughs> but no, nothing happened. But it's the story is all about what goes on in my head. Because and what's amazing is I told him I was a fan of hip hop, and so we watch a movie, watch American Pie at Planet Hollywood over by Columbus Circle. We watch the movie, and at the very end, he was like, what did you think? And I told him when we first met, I was a huge fan of hip hop. And I was like, it was great. And he goes, no, what do you think about the room? I was like, what about the room? And he was like, take a look around. And it's like Biz Marquee, Cool Mo D, it's all the old hip, like all my favorite hip hop stars. And he had brought them in so I could meet them. To, and, the, and, that, and I was like, oh, I could have had sex with Biz Marquee. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adam Sandler needs to play him in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to gain some weight for that role. <laughs> With all the liquor consumption, I'm sure it will help. Yeah. So. Well, Bert, I don't know where to go with you now. I'm all over the map. Watch Trip Flip. I'll tell okay, you what. There you go. It is a exactly. good hearted, it is an awesome show. We have stepped it up to the nines. Our opening ones are Idaho and Costa Rica. You will see a zip line, you will see us surf, you will see a skajor. A skajor? What's a skajor? Skajoring is exactly what it sounds like. It is when you hold onto a rope and you let a horse and a horseman pull you at 30 miles an hour through an obstacle course. Oh, that's Well, we crazy. could talk about this for a long right. time. Meet yeah. us in the green room after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you skajor, we're gonna skedaddle. Exactly. But it was so good to see you Thank and meet you. Very you. Much. You're one crazy man, and I, I like it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Trip Flip airs on the Travel Channel Wednesdays at 9 p.m. And you're this watching. This is something <laughs> you don't want to miss. Yes. <laughs> and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.